Ryan Lash first came to these islands off the west coast of Ireland as a freshman anthropology student at Notre Dame. It's easy to see why he fell in love. Twelve years later, he has a doctoral degree in archaeology. He and his mentor, Professor Ian Kite, will publish the findings of their research this year in a book titled Faith on the Water. Lash has returned to the islands every summer, drawn back by his quest to resurrect the history of Irish monks that founded medieval monasteries here. His dissertation traced this history as the monasteries evolved into places of pilgrimage for island residents and visitors. This spiritual bond to the past has created a heritage tourism that drives the island economy to the present day. So we're here inside Clahan Leo, a beehive hut built probably in the seventh century. And what our excavations have shown on this place in particular on Inishar is that these monasteries aren't just fossils that are preserved in the landscape that had a monastic occupation and then fell out of use. They have a long afterlife of people coming back and this is a place that really just demonstrates it. We have medieval artifacts on the base layer and in subsequent centuries a kind of combat between memory, time and gravity of people coming back revisiting places that their ancestors had visited, stories being passed down the walls and the roof collapsing down upon us, but people coming back, leaving traces, leaving hearts against the wall, the subsequent visitors to see and to reproduce their own, their own traditions in, in a different way. And we have a great example of it here, these three crosses incised into the eastern wall, excuse me, western wall of the Clahan. We don't know if they're all from the medieval period. They all could have been incised in the seventh century. They all could have been incised in, in 1000 AD. Or they might be kind of devotional graffiti, people coming back to a place they know to be sacred and leaving some trace of themselves for the next generation to see.